here's uh, the newest version. Got an 8 inch pulley. Goes to the alternator. And, uh, it's on about a 9 or 10 foot 4x4. Four four. See if I can get a better view of it. I built some wood blades out of PVC. I don't know how well they're going to hold up. It stayed in the storm last night, but I don't know how well it's going to track. I built it all on a hub there, so the entire top half of that shaft swivels. Uh, let me see if I can make it turn so you can see it. Uh, it is very heavy. It's pretty heavy. I haven't had any real wind. Well, I've been out here to see it. Even though it's been real stormy. Even though it's been real stormy, there ain't been no wind between the storms. But, uh, I've got the I got the hub for free. The alternator is from a previous project. The uh, hub right there is from a Missouri wind and solar wind turbine I used to have that I've tore to pieces. I'm trying to build my own bottom pipe and the top pipe I bought specifically. I would give I think six dollars for the two of them. The rod going through there is three quarters of an inch. That cost ten dollars. I had it threaded so I could put that hub on there. That cost ten dollars. The pulley cost twenty dollars. I got pillar block bearings. It cost, they cost uh, like $12 a piece. The fan was from the Missouri Wind and Solar. I may have to make it bigger, I'm not sure. But, uh, I still got to get a belt on it. But it's up, and it's now I can do some testing to see how well it's going to track in the wind, or if I need to extend out the tail, or or what I need to do there. So I have been working on it guys. I just I've been working a whole lot at work and I haven't had a lot of time to put in it. Uh, so that's as far as I've gotten. It's a whole lot better than my last rig up. And it, it's just a prototype and if this all works right like I'm thinking it will, I will go through and make one that looks good and works better than this one. Uh, I'm also working on a new regulator for the alternator and this regulator is uh oh yeah let me show y'all my new truck my new toy this is a 64 Jeep J200 I got a 305 and we'll put in it picked it up for $400. I'll hear that in a minute. But the alternator I'm working on, I'm working on a regulator that's on the ground. So it'll be down here that'll run any alternator. Not just that alternator. Any alternator you want to put up there, it will run it. Um, you may have to do some modifications to your alternator so you get higher voltage at a lower RPM. Because a lot of our, uh, alternators aren't designed to put out voltage until 1200, 1800 RPM.
this one will kick in and charge at 1,000 RPMs. So I got a pulley eight inches, pulley at two inches. That's four to one. I think my ratios are right. I'm not good at math. So when that thing's turning uh, 100 RPMs, that's turning 400 RPMs. The alternator is so. At 300 RPMs, I should be charging. And I made the blades pretty long so they have plenty of torque. Uh, I'm working on another set of blades right now that are from an old chicken house, and they are about a three foot span altogether. There's five blades on it, and I think they'll do a better job. Right now, it's just on a four by four in the ground, and then I nailed two by fours to brace it up. And probably later I'll dig around the two before out and pour concrete. The whole thing is probably 12, right at the shaft is probably 12 feet in here. So, uh, that's the project so far. Well, let me take you around my Jeep. I mean, it's in pretty good shape. There's not really much rust through on this thing. Um, uh, there's a lot of work to be done. A lot of work to be done. I gotta find tires and rims. These are tubed and the rims are tube type, so and they're rusted out around the uh, valve stem. But the problem is it's very, very hard to find rims for this. If anybody knows the only ones I've been able to fi find is off of a geo tracker, and those are five on five point five, so they're they're not real common. The interior needs a lot of work. I mean, not really. I mean, it's all steel. I just need a seat and clean it up. Uh, take that panel out so I can free up the stuff on the transmission. But the truck is whole. It has the title. It's uh, solid. Tailgate. Probably could need to find another one of them. That one's rusted. The tailgate on it's rusted pretty bad where the hinge goes on the bottom. Let me show you my 305. There's my 305. Picked that up for 150 bucks. Got an Edelbrock 650 four barrel to go on it. Um, but that'll cover everything I wanted to talk to y'all about. It's a pretty nice wind generator. Pretty nice truck. I'm really debating on getting rid of the truck though because I just don't have any time to work on it. I've had it for six months and I bought a motor for it and that's about all I've done. They had a six cylinder in it but it is completely locked up took the heads off tried to free it up and there's just there's just no free in it so I'm gonna put a 305 in there and junk that motor because that motor they only had in these Jeeps for two years and uh, it's kind of rare motor hard to rebuild because it's an overhead cam so pretty little dog See, it ran pretty good here last night. Uh, Alright, that's all I've got to say for now. If I think of anything else, I'll add it to the video.